Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 21st of December. Opposition in the Alliance protests over suspension of 141 MPs from Parliament. Canadian PM Trudeau sees shift in India relations after US plot reveal. And Bangladesh opposition calls for poll boycott as PM Hasina kicks off campaign. And now for all the details. Days after the suspension of 141 MPs from the parliament, parties of opposition in the alliance on Thursday held a protest march from the parliament to Vijay Chowk in capital New Delhi and demanded a discussion over the matter. The opposition has called the move dictatorial and said that it has hurt the democratic goodwill of the country. The parliamentarians were suspended on the grounds of raising slogans demanding Home Minister Amit Shah's statement on the December 13 security breach incident. The opposition bloc has also planned a nationwide protest on Friday against the suspension of the MPs. When a major security breach occurs, instead of fulfilling his duty as a minister of being accountable to the parliamentarians uh, for a matter like this and speaking to them, reassuring them, insults parliamentary democracy by not only refusing to appear in the House, which is his duty, but also going outside and issuing press statements, uh, saying all the things that he could and should have said in the House. Meanwhile, ruling BJP workers on Thursday also staged a protest in Jantar Mantar area over the mimicry of Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar by TMC MP Kalyan Banerjee and Congress leader Rahul Gandhi smiling and recording him. They said Congress has crossed all the limits and should apologize for their actions. Uprashpati Mohode ka mimikri Sambedhanik padope bete we vektio ke prati ye bhao Abi a deski janta vilko jabab degi or deska sambidan vilko jabab dega. Amid the India Canada diplomatic row, Canadian PM Justin Trudeau has said that he senses a change in India's stone with Ottawa after the US sworn New Delhi about its involvement in a thwarted plot to kill a Khalistani leader on its soil. In an interview to CBS, Trudeau said Canada does not want to be in a situation of having a fight with India right now and wants to work on the trade deal. He said that both the countries want to advance the Indo-Pacific strategy. After the US revelations, Canadian officials have pressed India to cooperate in its investigation of the murder of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar in June. New Delhi had called Canada's claim of involvement as absurd, sparking a diplomatic row with both sides expelling diplomats and trade talks potentially destabilized. In contrast, India has said it is taking the US indictment seriously and investigating. As the long march by Baloch activists against what they term Baloch genocide by Pakistani forces reached Islamabad late on Wednesday, police blocked entry points to the city and baton charged protester to sabotage the march. A report. As the long march by Baloch activists against extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances of Baloch ethnic people reached Pakistan's capital Islamabad late on Wednesday, Security officials blocked entry points in an attempt to sabotage the protest. Activists claim police bait and charged used force, manhandled female protesters and made arbitrary detentions to disperse the protesters who were trying to reach the National Press Club. Led by Balochistan Ek Jati Committee leader Mehrang Baloch, protesters continued a sit-in protest on the outskirts of the city. से गुजरे वहां वहां गिरफ्तारियां हुई है एफआईआर हुए हैं हमारे साथियों पर लेकिन यह तहरीक नहीं रुकी है और हम आज हमने हम फिर से यह कह रहे हैं कि हमें जहां-जहां रोका जाएगा वहां वहां हम एहतजाजी धरना हमारा मुतालबा यह है कि यूएन की वर्किंग ग्रुप के सदारत में एक फैक्ट फाइंडिंग कमेटी बनाई जाए जो बलूचिस्तान में होने वाले इंसानी हकूक के पामालियों की रिपोर्ट पेश करे और सीटीडी और डेथ स्क्वाड्स को गैर फाल किया जाए the long march has also got support from British parliamentarian John McDonnell, who has tabled a motion in the UK Parliament calling for support of the Baloch activists. 
activists have long claimed Baloch people have been targets of so-called military operations, ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the Pakistani state, while it continues to exploit their natural resources. Bangladesh's main opposition party, Bangladesh Nationalist Party on Wednesday, urged voters to boycott what it called a one-sided dummy elections due in January, as Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina kicked off her campaign for a fourth consecutive term. Don't participate in the monkey game on January 7, Ruhul Kabi Rizvi, BNP's senior Joint Secretary General, told an online press briefing. With its top leaders either jailed or in exile, the opposition has been calling for Hasina to resign and for a neutral authority to replace the government and oversee the January 7 polls, which the BNP is not contesting. Hasina has repeatedly rejected opposition calls to step down and has blamed the BNP for instigating anti-government protests that have rocked Dhaka since late October and in which at least 10 people have been killed. Moving on, Sri Lankan's Foreign Minister Ali Sabri on Thursday held talks with its Nepali counterpart NP South in Kathmandu to boost bilateral ties. The Joint Commission meeting focused on enhancing cooperation in a wide range of areas, including trade and investment, tourism, education, defence, immigration, people-to-people -people contacts and connectivity. Stating that the operation of the kathmandu colombo air connection is encouraging, the two sides also discussed the possibility of air connectivity between Colombo and Lumbini, local media reported. Later that day, Sabri also called Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dehel to foster ties. One more Nepali working in the Russian army has died, taking the total count to eight, Nepal's foreign ministry informed on Wednesday. In a press release, the ministry identified the eighth casualty as Kundan Singh Nagal, who was fighting from Russian side and said efforts are being made to repatriate his dead body and for compensation to the next of kin. The ministry also informed the detention of four Nepali nationals by Ukrainian army. The escalating unlawful engagement of Nepali youths within the Russian army has led the government to escalate warnings against travel to Russia for military involvement. Nepali soldiers called Gurkhas are known for their bravery and have been serving the British and Indian armies under an agreement between the three countries. However, there is no such agreement with Russia or any other country. Market areas and malls in parts of India are all decked up as shoppers are thronging to soak in the spirit of Christmas and New Year festivities. A mall in Bangalore City has installed a 100-foot tall Christmas tree which is grabbing eyeballs with visitors flocking in large numbers to click pictures around the giant structure. Marking the birth of Jesus Christ, Christmas is celebrated with much pomp and show and also by preparing special dishes for the day across India. This tree is so pretty and wonderful and the atmosphere is so relaxing and if we want to enjoy or relax, we can come here and enjoy the tree and have pictures with our families, photos and enjoy. Meanwhile, residents in Bangalore and eastern Guwahati were seen buying a variety of decorated Christmas items including trees, stars, bells, lights and tinsels. Celebration of Christmas is marked by carols, cakes, candles and sparkling Christmas trees and exchange of gifts. Christians make up about 2.3% of India's nearly 1.4 billion population. And yeah, we're getting a lot of sweets and stuffs at home and then plum cakes. So yeah, uh, I'm also thinking about, you know, like how am I going to call my friends home and you know, how are we going to party and celebrate because you know, it's once in a year kind of a celebration. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.